Now, a police involved shooting in Providence. An officer opens fire on a teenager who he says pulled a gun on him. Pinpoint News Tracker takes you to the scene on Westland Avenue. The teen is expected to make a full recovery and is now facing criminal charges. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler joins us now with the details. Well, that suspect, 17-year-old Jalen Baker, remains at the Rhode Island Training School tonight, held without bail. He's recovering from a gunshot wound through the arm, and now we're hearing from an eyewitness who says the teen never had a gun in the first place. Exclusive eyewitness news video shows the tense scene following a police-involved shooting on the south side of Providence. Investigators say Officer David Allen fired four shots at Baker Saturday evening after the teen pointed a gun at him twice during a foot chase. Uh, we have the gun recovered here. We have witnesses who've told us that uh, the story seems to be pretty straightforward. And we have the officer who, thank goodness, was not injured. But several eyewitnesses tell us Baker never had a gun at the time of the shooting. James Farrell watched the whole incident and claims he was arrested after telling detectives the teen was pulling out a wallet and not a gun. It seemed to me that it, it was a little uh, trigger happy. It happened too fast is what I said. And uh, it apparently, I don't think they liked that I was outspoken. We've learned Baker is no stranger to Providence Police with three arrests in the past three years. Now, as standard practice, the department is conducting a use of force review and the Attorney General's office is investigating. Farrell says he just wants the truth to come out. I feel very unsettled right now and I just want to have these charges cleared. I want to move on with my life. Now, Baker was in court today, but his case was continued until Friday. As part of standard protocol, Officer Allen was placed on administrative leave pending a review of the shooting. I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.